Rachel Ford again with Derby City News, and we are here at Ernesto's on Dixie Highway at the South Louisville Conservative Walk Party, and I am here with who are you now? Doug Hawkins. I think I know this guy. And this guy is Senator Dan Sign. That's right. But uh, anyway, first, yes, Mr. Hawkins, yes, famous city metro councilman. That's me. Plus, plus. No, no, you're still you're still a staple of this community, and honored to have you in our presence. So, tell us what are your what are your plans? Any uh, future political first, plans? First, God bless you. Um, well, I, you can't be in public service. I had a certain time to speak as much as anybody, but you can't be in public service and not begin to really appreciate what it means to help people. And, and uh, I, we were very, very fortunate we were in a position where we could deal with people one-on-one, -on -one, and I got to help a lot of people, and I know it meant a lot to, to people, and, I, and it meant a lot to me to help these people. And so I love public service. Uh, I really do. And, and whether I get back into it now or 2012 or whenever, um, I, I, I will get back in public service. Yeah, you, you're either made to do it or not, and I, and I feel very He's strong. made to do it. Well, God bless you. <laughs> Uh, and so there's some, I do have to ask you, this is a, uh, the South End in particular is a predominantly Democrat area, but I would say it's predominantly conservative. Yes, that's correct. So what does it mean to you to be a conservative here in the South End? What do you, what well, do you I think, I think uh, you know, to be a conservative is to be true to your cause, and I think most people appreciate the fact that you tell them who you are, what you are, and what you're going to do, and you go do it. And I think that uh, that pays dividends as far as re-election goes, and uh, some of the issues that we've tried to carry forward. For instance, uh, you know this uh, neighborhood schools issue that we're working on. Um, uh, we honestly believe that uh, these kids need to be off those buses and in the schools and uh, spending their time there, and uh, and and let mom and dad be part of the uh, PTA like they used to be. And those issues cross cross uh, all lines because uh, everybody wants everybody out there wants the best for their kids and. Uh, and I think something else, after many years of being in public office, uh, I think what helps me is, uh, and I'm very proud of this, Rachel, is that in 27 years, uh, no one's ever questioned my integrity. Yep. And uh, and so there has been no scandals. And uh, so I'm, <laughs> That's I'm kind good. of pr proud of that. And I think that uh, most That's people, almost uh, a rarity, I must yes, say. Yes, it is. And most people uh, appreciate that. So, uh, and of course, there was that old vehicle emission testing issue. Yeah. They, they love that one. So, so thank you. <laughs> Well, thank you, Senator Sine, for joining us, and thank you, Doug, for joining us. It is honored to be in the presence of both of you, wonderful and honorable men of our community. You're so, so good at this. Thank you very much. <laughs> My head's getting bigger. It's good. It's a good thing we're outside. So, <laughs> thank you for joining us. Oh. <laughs>